Hi, hi. Hello, friends. It's Jalene. Welcome to my channel. Um, I like to share all things beauty, shopping, decor, and more. And today I have a little shopping haul of beauty items from Sephora. Um, I'm excited to share what I got. And um, I'd love it if you'd support my channel and hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, do those things that help my channel if you wish. And I will get to it. All right, here we go. Okay, so I did get a few things in from Sephora. I still have a couple of things that um, had to be shipped that um, I don't have, but I don't know where to start. I bought some bougie products, some that I don't normally spend um, a lot of money on. Um, the first thing is something I usually get, I think this lasts me about a year if I, you know, use other perfumes, but this is my Flower Bomb, my Victor and Rolf um, Flower Bomb. So this set uh, just comes with a perfume, a, a refill, and then a um, like a purse spray, whatever. So this is pricey, but I took advantage of the percent off and got, um, so I got it for a little bit better deal. The other thing in the perfume line is I got the Sol de Janeiro Travel Set. Um, this is four different fragrances in one box. They are small, ultra small, but they were still kind of a good deal. I personally have always felt like this was, this Sol de Janeiro spray is overpriced. Um, I, uh, don't know if I would spend $38 for an eight ounce. I just, I don't know. I just thought that. But then when I got this and I used it and it does smell really, really good. And the awesome thing about it is it has lasting power. So it stays. And I even tried layering the four fragrances together and it, it just was a wonderful smell and it was it, anyway, it, it permeated and lasted, which I like. So I'm really happy with this. I might pick up another one, um, either to, for a backup or for gifts. Um, anyway, so there's that. And, um, okay, so I have just have a little bit of a face, face on, um, face makeup, but I had got some things that I wanted to share and show you um, what they were. So, um, the first thing I'm gonna show you, I didn't use, but I've just been wanting this and it really was a splurge for me, but I I got the, um, um, the rosy drops from Drunk Elephant and I really wanted the dew drops and the bronzer, but the bronzer's out of stock, so I don't know if I'll be able to get that. But I did get the, um, it's bright, dry, bright drops. So this has niacinamide in it and it's supposed to just give a dewy glow if you put it on like under your makeup or mix it in with your foundation. I didn't do that today because I already put on my base and I forgot to, to maybe to use this first, but I'm gonna put a little drop here on my hand. I just got a little tiny. Um, Definitely has a glow there. In fact, probably can use it for a highlighter. Um, I don't think I have a highlighter on. So, I was going to put blush on first. But we'll, we'll try a little bit and see what it does. Actually does. Okay, this is pretty awesome. So I might try this on my whole face and just see what it does. But anyway, a splurge, but on a sale. So the Drunk Elephant, um, it does have really cute packaging. I love this, this black and white. It comes in there inside the box. Love that. Um, to me, packaging is everything. I love when things are packages. Package cute. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to mention that with this product. 
so the next they also threw in um the soul food nourishing they gave me two nourishing mask from amika which i love amika so this was kind of a fun um, bonus for my sample and then um, I got three things from the Sephora brand, which th these were 30% off. One of them is the, um, gosh, I might have to get my glasses on for this. This is the Colorful Gloss Balm Filling Groovy. I think it's kind of a gold, but I might try this at the end. So I also got the Supreme um, Crayon. This is the Universal Lip Liner. Um, it's, I think it's a clear, if I'm not mistaken. And it's just supposed to help keep your lips from, um, your lipstick from bleeding. And then the third thing I have here from the Sephora shop is the 12 Hour Colorful Crin. Um, the eye pencil and I've heard good things about this and I like that it's 12 hours so I'll probably put this on too at the end um, so anyway those were exciting now the next two things that I'm going to demonstrate is I got first of all um, let's just sh well no let me show this one I've heard lots of things about this and I just had to get it because it's both a it's both a cream and a blush and I got the very very pink color may not match my look today but so I'm going to go for a little bit more neutral look but I do like it um I had a hard time figuring out how to open this thing you know when you can't open a product um that it's bougie right I've had that trouble with a couple other products I had to figure out now how do you get this open so there's a little cover that goes on the cream one and then this is the powder one and I'm just gonna I'm gonna use my finger and kind of do the the cream one it's showing up a little bit brighter on um camera than I'm noticing it but Okay, just pick it. Now I'm gonna come in with the powder. And it's very pink, it's very pink, you guys. I'm gonna have to, oh my gosh. Okay, it's very powerful. You just need a tiny bit. I'll learn that next time. But I'm just going to, let me see if I can. Okay, that takes, that took some working. <laughs> <laughs> to do um but anyway i'm gonna like this blush i can tell i can tell it's good quality um here's the packaging so it's got a cute little box and so there was that and then the last thing here which i'm going to put on is the i did i broke down i got the natasha denona I need a nude palette. Um, I This one just really interests me. I like that it's light and just for, you know, an everyday simple look. I like that. Um, so I now I have three of these palettes. So that's kind of cool. Um, okay, so let's get to this. Um, I'm not sure what... I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this one. Um, this one. I'm just going to do a lighter look. I'm going to do this one. This one. I might pick a darker color to go with it. I'm not sure yet. Um, and probably go with either this or this on my lids. I'm going to do this in fast mode and I'm so I'm just gonna get it done I'll let you see kind of as I go but um I'm just gonna put my eyeshadow on now and hope it works because I have not practiced this so I don't know how it's gonna turn out but anyway here we go
Okay, so um, it's real subtle, kind of, well, for me, um, I like it. I went ahead and did the pink on the lids. Um, I did this um, pink down here because I kind of thought it kind of matched what I'm wearing. And it'll bring up, you know, because I have the, the pink um, blush. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to put on my um, Sephora eyeliner and my lips and some mascara. And I will be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Here's the final look. Um, it's just a simple, okay, I can't ex tell you how much I am so excited I got this. This is an expensive palette, but you know what? I think this is going to be my everyday look. Like, I love the colors in here. Um, this is just, this is fabulous. There's one more look at it. For my eyes, I used um, this down here, right here, this up here. Um, I used a little bit of this in the middle and then the pink down here and that was pretty much it. I mean, just got myself three colors and I did actually take a little bit into this brown right here with this one in the corners. Um, but yeah, so there's the look. I love this. I love the Patrick Ta. Um, that's great. The Drunk Elephant. Okay, so those are, this actually has given a glow to my face. And I'm so, so excited about it. Um, I usually don't put out the money for expensive, um, products. But I'm kind of glad I did this time because I'm really loving all of them. And this is fabulous and I I this scent stays it just lasts forever like I smell so good mm, love it so anyway it was a big win for me also I like this eyeliner we'll see if it lasts uh for 12 hours and I like the lip this I do have this on I thought it was gonna be more of a gold but it's kind of a it's kind of a rose gold, so I do like it. So anyway, what do you think? Um, have you shopped the Sephora VIB cell? Um, and if you did, what would be on your list? I know my um, my like, my favorites list at um, Sephora is really long. But so anyway, I did order a few more things from Sephora, which will be in upcoming videos. I'm trying to remember what I have coming. Um, but I know I did buy their advent, the Sephora advent calendar, because it was 30% off. And so instead of 30, I paid 20. And there was a couple of things in there that I did really like, even though usually their advent calendars are kind of, are you kidding me, type things. But um, there was a few good things in there. And so, plus it's just fun opening an advent calendar, right? So anyway, that's coming. I also have a few other advent cal calendars that I'm going to be sharing probably um, next week or the next two weeks. So anyway, um, we'll plan on that. <sighs> this is it for today. Um, thanks for being here. I appreciate you and your support. And I will see you guys all in the next one. All right, friends. Thanks. Bye-bye.